welcome back to my channel. Today we are going through February's beauty boxes and I do have several. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right on into it. First one we got here is the Allure beauty box. I will have the price on the screen and I will do my best to list prices of the products. Now th this box does have sample sizes in it and I will not be listing the sample size cost but I will have the full size price on the screen for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alright so the first thing we got here is Beauty Bakery. Um, let's see what they sent me. The Chosen Bun eyeshadow palette. Um, this is what it looks like. This retails for $38. Will I be keeping it? Let me open it up and look at the colors and I'll tell you. Okay, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. But I had tons of palettes with these colors, so I'm not going to keep that. That is going to go into the next large giveaway, which should be coming up soon because I haven't done one in a while and um, my box is getting kind of full, so that should be happening soon. Okay, so the next thing we got here is YSL... Beauty Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara. It is a sample size. The full size retails for $29. I am not going to keep this just because I have a lot of mascaras and I don't necessarily need another one or a small one. So that is going into the next large giveaway as well. The next thing we got here is at the Alba. Piedmont Aromic Spray Serum. Okay, so, okay, this is to hydrate and nourish skin. I, this is definitely a product I am going to use. This retails for $45. Let's get it out of the box so we can see. Okay, so it has a little pamphlet with it. Um, I don't really need that right now. Um, this is what the serum looks like. This is a Korean product and uh, these kind of products actually usually do really good on my skin because my skin tends to be on the drier side so I am excited about that. This is a plastic but it's still pretty it's still pretty to look at so you know if you're one of those people there you go. Right, the next thing we got is the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser from Tula Skincare. Now this brand I actually really do like quite a bit. This uh, uh, clean cleanser retails for $34. This is a pretty generous size so I am excited about that. I always need more face cleansers so I'm happy. Alright, the next thing we got is a face mask. You know I love my face mask. This is Sweet Chef. Beet and Retinol Fresh Pressed Sheet Mask. This retails for $3.50, which is pretty normal. Um, I don't have, really have any other comments about it other than love face mask. Okay, so the last thing we got here is Sephora uh, Probiotic Nourishing Moisturizer. Um, I don't really have any comments. I typically don't use Sephora brand products, nothing wrong with it. I just don't use it. This retails for $18 and this I will also um, put into the next large giveaway as well. Okay, so we are going to move on to my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is what their bag for the month look like. Now they, um, I am missing another product in this. I forget what it was, but anyways, I did contact Ipsy. I told them it was missing. They're sending it to me. I'll probably get the product at, you know, next month probably. Because this, you know, this month is almost over, so I really doubt I'm going to get it in, in the next two days. So, but anyways, they are replacing it. Ipsy has always been good about replacing damaged items and sending stuff like that for me. So, I don't really have any complaints about that because I know that they're going to keep their word. So, um, let's go ahead and see what they get set. Okay, so the first thing we got here is Mutsky Super Polish Super Glow Pink Clay Mask. I was actually hoping to get something like this soon because in the summer months my skin is more oily than it is dry, which is weird because the rest of the year it is just, it's thirsty. So, um, 
I'm excited to get this and we'll be using it throughout the summer and if you want um, to know my opinion on this just let me know I will make sure I give you a review of it if you would like that all right so the next thing we got is this gigantic thing a velvety body cream this is this is a new line called refreshments it's all over ipsy and it and I've noticed it's on boxycharm too so I guess they've merged or something I'm not really sure what's going on but I know that somehow they're working together now but it, it, it is a nice velvety body cream and I do make sure I put lotion if you are concerned about your aging skin you better start moisturizing that's all I'm saying fountain of youth moisturize 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 all right so I got this right here this is hip dots dual eyeliner and powder eyeshadow for every day this is not really a product that I would use much not that it's bad I it's just it's not something I would use but if you're someone who's on the go a lot this is probably going to be something you love so I'm gonna stick this into the next large giveaway as well because I know somebody's gonna really love this okay so the last item in my ipsy is a blush duo from MOTD that is the box right there okay so this is something I'm gonna keep so I'm I tore up the box this is what it looks like it is in pink lace duo blush duo has this little rubber band to keep it closed and that is what it looks like kind of like the dual colors there but let's swatch like that okay so this is an interest it's kind of peachy excuse the glare because I glitter all over myself I swatched it twice and you can see color kind of comes out a little bit different because you got the two different colors but I like it I like the texture of it I like the um, the um, dimension to it so this is something I'm definitely gonna use and get some use out of bag box whatever is try beauty this is every other every other month whereas in the other ones I get there every month this was just every other month I like this because it um, promotes independent brands I think it's pretty cool so um, this one didn't have a pamphlet in it either but that is okay all right first thing we got is another product from musky this is melting mud cleansing mask I do like these especially when you have like all this glitter on like I have on right now this stuff works miracles into loosening up all that makeup and I love to put it on and then wipe it off with a towelette or something and then do a thorough cleanse okay so they put this bag in it I'm not really sure how I feel about it um, I do like the fact that it's clear I don't like it when they put the th put bags in that aren't clear because traveling these days or everything is required to be clear these days so I prefer bags that you could see through so you can actually use and this is not that I really travel that much right now um, but it is clear so um, I may or may not use it I don't know but you know there you go uh, I, it is to me they do feel kind of cheap it reminds me of the old allure bags that they used to do and they were they just kind of fell apart honestly um, this seems a little bit more durable than that but still the, the, those are my personal feelings all right so the next thing we got is purple liquid liner from the balm and um, it says showing on there I definitely will use this because it's purple and it's different than the black. This um, is kind of, um, it says purple, but it's more of an eggplant color. It's not a true purple. Um, it's more of a brown. You can see right there. But it is really pretty and it is something I will get some use out of. And I, for that, I'm, I'm perfectly content with it. Okay, so the next thing we got here is Oral Fixation. Is it 2004 yet? Is that the color? I don't know. Anyways, that is what it looks like. Packaging is really cute. I'm not going to lie. That 
comes out that is a really really pretty gold color I use the colors like this quite a bit um, so I'm I know I'm gonna use this that's not even a question but let's see what, what the gloss looks like okay so that is a really pretty kind of a peachy glittery gloss and we all know how I feel about glitter. I don't care if it goes out of trend and everyone goes all mad again. I am always going to obsess, obsess with my glitter. That's just, that's just the way it is. So there's that. Um, I think this comes out. Well, it came out. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to use that on something because it's cute. Last thing in this is a palette from Suva Magic and Ecstasy. And I am keeping this palette because it's got glitter. That's the truth of it. Just because it's got glitter, I'm keeping it because I have glitter problems. Okay, so here are the colors in the palette. This whole row up here is glitter except for the black. So let's go ahead and swatch this beauty. Okay, so those are the colors swatched. I definitely am loving them and the glitter. Y'all know my obsession with glitter, so I mean, yes. If you want me to do a look with this palette, I will do a look with this palette. Just let me know down below and I will do that. All right, so we are moving on to Kinder Beauty Box right here. Um, yep. And let's go ahead and see what's in this one. Okay, here's the card as usual. Okay, so first thing we got is all well beauty radiance face and body mask um i don't know if this is like a mud mask or not um that's what it looks like i would assume it's like a um something to like well maybe it is i don't know i, I would have to play with this but this retails for 42 dollars um i love my mask so i'm going to use it i'm going to give it a try if you want a review on this mask, let me know and I will be sure to do it. Alright, the next thing we got is Blood Orange Hand Cream. I actually need another hand cream in my purse because the other one's opened and um, my hands get dry. So that is what that looks like. This here retails for $16. I do love the smell of Blood Orange, so very happy about this. Then the next thing we got here is Goalie Nutrition Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. I already have a bunch of these and um, I'm not using them like I should. So instead of opening this one and wasting it, I am definitely going to stick this into the next large giveaway so somebody else can try and see if they like it. This is this retails for $19 and it is vegan and gluten free, which is a big deal to me. So, um, but again, um, it does work. I just, I'm terrible about making sure I use it. So that is why I'm passing that one along. All right, the next thing I got here is Lip Blonde and Bergamot and Lavender from J&L Naturals. Um, I'm not ready to use this, but I am going to use this. I love my lip balms, my fancy lip balms at that. This one retails for $5.99. I do like the recyclable packaging. I think that's a cute and necessary added touch. Um, the last item in this is Quick and Slick. This is Quick and Slick Fly Away Hair Essence. So you could, you know, if you pull your hair in a ponytail, you need something to slick it back to keep it from flying away. This would be the product. Not sure if I'm going to use it. It is. It does retail for $18. Has a light peach scent. Uh, let's see what the thing looks like. And there's that. That's what it looks like. There you go. But again, I'm not opening it because I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. Because um, I don't really do the ponytail thing too much because the waves in my hair make it a little uncontrollable sometimes and that's just that's just life so that leaves me with one more box last box is the beloved boxy charm everybody knows boxy charm everybody loves boxy charm so here it is i just get the base box because i already get a bunch of boxes and i don't really see a need in getting a big box so anyways it does have 
a card and to my disappointment no items listed on it so I will be googling prices and all that on the the products in here okay so I have a brush from Anastasia this is brush number 7b dual angled brush that's pretty much all it says um, obviously yeah this is something I'll use mainly for eyebrows but I can get it out that is what it looks like it's cute there you go um, but yeah I'll, I'll be I'll be using that so definitely going to keep that uh, the next thing I got is a couple of marble sponge duo right here I use my sponges so that's that's a must for me I'm definitely gonna use that and then the next thing we got is another beauty bakery palette this is pudding eyeshadow palette Let's see if the colors are unique or not they're not um, they're pretty though Let's see this I think this plastic is on there um, yeah, I got a lot of palettes with similar colors, so that's also going to go into the next large giveaway. So, um, whoever gets this next um, beauty uh, large giveaway will have several palettes from Beauty Bakery. And don't get me wrong, Beauty Bakery has like really, really good products. My favorite products from them is their lip products and their foundation. That is what I like. I, I also like their... Um, which we'll call it um, powder. The powders are really nice too. But um, the eyeshadows, mm, they're not bad. Not my favorite, but they're good. So there you go. And the last item I got in this is Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. I actually was hoping to get a foundation because I'm kind of running low and I wanted to try something different. So I'm not really mad about this at all. This looks like it's going to be a good match for my skin once it oxidizes. So, not mad about that. We'll be definitely giving that a try. So that is it in my beauty boxes for February. Um, let me know what you think down below. I don't think I did my beauty boxes last month. I think I just decided to take a break and just didn't do them. I apologize. But, um, yeah, if there are anything in, in this video you want me to review, just let me know down below and I'll happily do so. It might take me a little bit to get to it, but I will get to it. Um, but that is it of this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video.